Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is my first video and today I want to talk a little bit about Hourglass. Um, what I'm going to show you today is the Immaculate Liquid Powder Foundation. Now what got me interested in this at first was a sample that I had gotten from Sephora. Um, it was the color Nude in this little package right here. It's one of the free samples that you could choose from. Um, I tried it on and I liked it. Um, it blended in well enough but I still thought it was a little bit too yellow. So then I went and I ordered um, the Ivory. Tried that on that was a little bit too pale. Now normally uh, I'll wear MAC NW2025 and the ivory being too pale I went up to the next color which is the light beige. Now that's what I'm wearing now. I've had it on since about 10 o'clock this morning and um, it's lasted a pretty long time. As you can see it's still matte. It's covering pores and it's still pretty much even coverage. So I want to swatch the colors for you so maybe this will help somebody um, not have the same problem I have. i uh, just going to put the colors on my wrist here. First one's the ivory. The second one will be the sample that I got from Sephora in Nude. I got a couple of these samples I kept ordering. The other color will be the light beige. This is what I'm wearing now, the light beige. Now the light beige and the nude seem to be the same depth. Um, the light beige is more of a neutral or I don't want to say pink because it's definitely not pink. Um, it's more of a neutral undertone where the nude is more of a yellow undertone. So if you could see those. And that would be the ivory, the nude in the middle, and the light beige on the end. Just blend them out a little. So you can see the difference. So the first one's ivory, the middle color is nude, and the color on the end is light beige. I know it's kind of hard to see with this webcam. Maybe that's better. Okay. Um, I also tried out the primer, and I bought the little size first because I wasn't sure how I was going to like it, but the primer, it's the small size that I got from uh, Sephora. And this is it here. And I'll just pump that up. The color is white. And then it just blends in. See, there's no color there. And this leaves a very um, matte, uh, almost I don't want to say satin, it's more of a matte finish. It's definitely matte. If you have dry skin of any sort, um, I wouldn't recommend either one of these products. Um, I'd probably go with the NARS Tinted Moisturizer and uh, Primer. But these are definitely for oily combination skin. Um, they do last long. You can wear the, the Veil, the Hourglass Veil Primer by itself and it actually controls oil and it also gives you a kind of even you know finish to your skin without having to wear any makeup. Um, the Immaculate uh, Foundations, you don't really need a lot for coverage. I would say uh, half a pump to a full pump, no more than a full pump you would need. Um, the only thing with these is once you start to blend them in, they do dry down to a powder finish very fast. So you have to work with them fast. Otherwise, you might end up splotchy. I've seen a lot of reviews 
where the people said it was cakey, it was chunky, you know, they couldn't blend it down right. My advice would be to use a little at a time, work in sections and blend it out. I also, um, what I do is I apply it with my fingers and then I'll take my kabuki brush and I'll buff it out. Um, that's what I found has worked easiest for me. Um, there is an hourglass foundation brush number two that I did buy. I don't have it here right now. Um, I did try to use that, but I found that it did not spread the product out fast enough. It could be just the way I was applying it, um, or not. But, uh, yeah, fingers and a kabuki brush, that's the best way I found to use it. So, I hope you liked my first review. Um, hopefully I'll have more. If you liked it, leave a comment. If you didn't like it, leave a comment. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more because I have a lot of stuff that I do want to review. Um, I also have older things. I noticed a lot of things on YouTube. It's all the newer products that come out. And what I want to try and do is get some of the older products that I have. Um, you know, I don't know what right now, but I have a whole closet full of them. And I noticed I was looking for older reviews on things and couldn't find them on YouTube because you know they were out before YouTube was even around so I, I do want to go through the older things that way that might help somebody out that's just curious they heard about it they read about it you know it's still available to buy obviously um, but they can't find any reviews on it so I want to do that I'm not big on tutorials or anything like that um, maybe in the future I just don't feel confident enough right now doing a tutorial uh, but that's about it and I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you soon.